a new animated facial reconstruction of the controversial poet Robert Burns reciting one of his own poems has been created to mark the anniversary of his birth? Researchers worked with another poet to create an animation of Burns performing to a mouse, where he draws a comparison between the lives of mice and men. Researchers recreated the face using the latest 3D digital technology from a partial cast of Burns' skull, along with documentation of the poet, portraits, silhouettes and written descriptions. However, Burns is not without controversy and earlier this month the poet Liz Lockhead described him as a sex pest. She highlighted a 1788 letter written to Bob Ainsley in which Burns implies he raped his pregnant girlfriend Jean Armour. Robert Burns was born January 25, 1759 and died July 21, 1796 and is widely regarded as the National Poet of Scotland. He was a high-ranking member of the Freemasons and much of his popularity stems from the fact he was a farmer's son who could speak to the common man. Liverpool John Moores University, LJMU, Face Lab, the University of Dundee in Dimensional Imaging, DI4D, in Glasgow worked with Scottish poet Trab Wilson to create an animation of Burns performing to a mouse. The initial work began in 2010 when Wilson worked with Professor of Craniofacial Identification Caroline Wilkinson to depict the living face of Robert Burns. Wilson was recorded reciting to a mouse using DI4D's facial motion capture system. It was then transferred to the 3D digital model of Burns and Wilson's voice was then added to the final animation. The animation will be screened at the Scottish National Portrait Gallery in Edinburgh on Burns Day. This real-life animation of Robert Burns has brought the poetry of this Scots bard back to life for generations to come, said Professor Wilkinson. It will help to promote Scottish culture and to visualize his charismatic and creative personality. To see Burns reciting his own poetry was a remarkable moment. LJMU said the techniques have the potential to transform the way people interact with historical figures. Face Lab's facial animation research is important as there is potential to apply facial animation techniques to animate faces of people from the past produced via facial reconstruction from human remains, said Professor Wilkinson. In the future you may be able to interact with people from history digitally, listen to them speak, recite literature or guide you around a museum exhibit as a virtual avatar, he added. He believes there is potential to animate other high-profile historical facial depictions including William Shakespeare, St. Nicholas, King Richard III or Robert the Bruce. In the controversial letter to Bob Ainsley, Burns bragged of giving his lover a thundering scalade, a military attack breaching defenses, that electrified the very marrow of her bones, and said he fd her until she rejoiced. Lockhead described his letter as a disgraceful sexual boast. It seemed very like a rape of his heavily pregnant girlfriend. It's very, very Weinsteinian, she said. Not only did Burns make Weinsteinian claims in his correspondence, his poetry abounds with physical violence against women, writes Daniel Cook. Senior Lecturer in English at the University of Dundee in the Conversation.
not published until after his death, Mary Muses of Caledonia is stuffed with the bawdiest songs you're ever likely to read, he writes. However, Dr. Cook says these works can help us to reconsider human concerns. After Weinstein, the time is right to reevaluate how we respond to literary traditions, he writes. Rather than using literature, or private correspondence, to out so called sex bests, though, we can use it as a vehicle for understanding the long history of sex pesting.